Accordingly, for the taxation of virtual digital assets, I propose to provide that any income from transfer of any virtual digital asset shall be taxed at the rate of 30%, 30 percent, three zero percent. Hi everyone, welcome to Wealthy. This is what our Finance Minister Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman had to say in the Union Budget. And soon afterwards, we had social media flooding saying that cryptocurrencies become legal in India. So we had a lot of social media influencers, we had cryptocurrency exchanges and even media publications coming out and talking about it as legality. Just because it has been taxed does not mean that it is legal edge. There have been innumerable instances before where we have seen that taxations does not mean legal edge. Uh, there are various High Court as well as Supreme Court decisions on this. For instance, the Commissioner of Income Tax versus T. Tangamani, wherein the Madras High Court ruled in 2008, saying that as far as the income tax is concerned, it only regardless of where the income and what the regard income is, it is still taxable as earned income. And I quote the very lines, there is nothing like an illegal income so far as the tax collector is concerned. This has been also confirmed by the chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes, Mr. J.B. Mahapatra, that taxation does not attach any kind of legitimacy or legality to deficits or surpluses arising out of cryptocurrencies. He also went on to say that taxation does not mean anything is legal. And finally, to put an end to all the speculation, the finance ministry, after the budget, made it clarified that they are taxing all incomes from crypto assets, underline the word assets and she also made it very clear that these are financial crypto assets and not currencies. In this context, investors must be reminded that cryptocurrencies were designed to remain outside the government control and it's no surprise that many governments and agencies have opposed the cryptocurrencies. Just because government is taxed does not mean it is legal yet, neither does it illegal. The moral of the story is, all we know is government is still just taxed the cryptocurrency incomes, but we'll have to wait and watch for the parliament to pass the resolutions and have a regulator in place to ensure that this particular crypto assets become completely legalized in the country. For more finance related updates, do subscribe to our channel and leave a like below. Thank you for watching.